It says very early in the morning while it was still dark. Now, I know all of us, some of us, whoever of us, we say, well, I'm not a morning person. I'm not this or that. You know, at some point, you got to be a something person, right? So find what, if you're not a morning person, you're not an evening person, you're not a lunch person. I mean, when are you a person? I mean, what's the deal? When's your time? When are you at your best? Let's find that time, your green zone, it can be called, and to be able to say, let me put in there my time with God in that place. So here it is, very early in the morning, while it's still dark, Jesus had a really busy day. He didn't sleep in, there's a place for that too, but he got up and he said, I'm going to spend time with God. And in that place, he found that time. Do you have a time? See, intentions have to be turned to action. It's not just going to accidentally happen. Do you have a time? I want us to see the personal responsibility in these statements. Because we live in a culture where personal responsibility is not, not what we do anymore. We blame somebody else. Parents, you got to teach your kids personal responsibility to understand they are responsible for their deal. You're responsible for your deal. Jesus has personal responsibility here. He wakes up early in the morning while it's still dark and he goes out to a deserted place and he has his time there. Do you have a time? Do you have a time? Is there a time set? If we were to ask you, would you say, yeah, okay, I got a time. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, in the morning, right before I get up and I get the coffee going, what do, you, what do you do? What's your first thing? Is your phone your first thing? Is your coffee your first thing? Is your Bible your first thing? Doesn't have to always be the Bible, but is it a priority in there? Is it really happening? And to be able to spend that time, remember in college, there was a big debate on if you spent time with God in the evening or did you spend time God, with God in the morning? So I just decided, oh, I'm going to grow twice as fast. So here's what I do. I'm going to tell you everything that I'm telling you, I do. I spend time with God in the morning. Right now, I'm reading Ezekiel, and I don't really like it. Ezekiel is not a very exciting book to read right now, but it's okay. I'm going to make it through. It's the Word of God. It's great. Honor the Lord with it. I'm reading Ezekiel in the morning. I read our church devotional in the morning. I got my journal. I write a little bit in my journal in the morning. Then I go to the evening, and I spend time with God in the evening. So I'm sitting in bed, and I got my, my uh, I have a five-year journal, which is really cool, and I write down little things that have happened every day um, for, for five years. Uh, I'm only on year three, but I'm going to keep doing it. It's really great. I, I take out my Bible. It's on my nightstand, and I read some of the Gospels. Every night before I go to bed, Kelly and I often pray together. And it's a morning and it's a nighttime thing as well. And because of my job, I spend time with God in the daytime too. It's awesome. But to be able to have that, when's your time? But you could say very early in the morning while it's still dark. You got to have your time. If you don't have your time with God, you'll never find true peace in your heart. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.